Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here and welcome to a special sort of video. I guess it's going to be a Cub's Guide. Haven't really thought through it, but uh, for a while now I've been doing a series on my channel called Tekkit Classic Reborn. It's my Let's Play Adventure Extravaganza and uh, over the last few months I've gotten a lot of questions about the mod pack, you know, how to install it, how to get the texture pack working, why is it not working on a Mac, I don't understand. And today I'm here to address some of those issues and create what I'm going to call the official but completely unofficial Tekka Classic Reborn setup guide. And I say it's official because I like to make things official, but it's also unofficial because I am no way affiliated with the mod pack. And let's get that out of the way right now. I get a lot of questions about the mod pack that should really go to the people making it, which would be Tanseo or Tankeo or Tanseo. I'm not sure how to say his name exactly. If you're watching this though, bud, go ahead and comment down below the correct pronunciation. I will make an apology video uh, calling you by your correct name. But yeah, I'm not actually affiliated with them. I just play the pack and I really, really like it. If you have questions though, I'm going to show you where you can take those questions and have them answered. But um, until then, another thing we might want to note is if we pinch out and we look at my screen, you'll see that I am on a Mac. Now, I get asked a lot, do you play on Mac? You have a, a black cursor, so are you on Mac? I'm not. I just like a black per cursor because I got used to one when I was on Mac. So I set that up on my PC. I actually game on PC, but I'm doing this tutorial on the Mac because I already have Tekka Classic installed on the PC and I didn't want to have to go through the effort of removing it and then reinstalling it and all them shenanigans. So we're just going to do it on the Mac, but trust me, I've done this before on the PC. It is almost completely exactly the same and whenever it differs, I will tell you. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to play Tekka Classic Reborn is a uh, the Technic Launcher. You download this from the technicpack.net and I will put a link in the description or you can just type it into your browser technicpack.net click on download when you get there and you can choose your operating system Windows Mac OS X or Linux are all supported now unfortunately it cannot run on a toaster but vanilla Minecraft can't run on a toaster either so yeah you have, you have to deal with that and once it's downloaded and you have it installed and if you can't figure out how to install it yourself we have some issues here. You might want to stop the video now and just go download like Angry Birds to your iPhone and and have fun with that. But if you were able to get this far and you've got it installed, you want to click on Mod Packs and you'll have a list of packs. Now these are the officially supported and created packs from the Technic team and you will notice there is a Tekkit, but there's not a Technic Classic or Tekkit Classic Reborn. That's because it's not really an official pack, it's a fan created pack, but you still can download it from the Technic website. So for that, hop back over to your browser and go type in TCR and it'll come right up. That's it right there on the top TCR classic reborn. Click on that. And again, this is on the Technic pack website. I'll put a link in the description. You'll want to uh, click right here where it says copy platform URL, copy that. And uh, to copy it, I don't know if you guys know how to copy it. I did command C. You can just right click and hit copy. You could go up and do file. There's lots of ways to copy, figure it out again. If you can't work that one out, Angry Birds is a fun game and does not require any copy paste. So come back here, paste that in. I'm going to do command V to paste. Boom, there it is. And it's got your little about section. You got your updates down here. Just click install and it will begin the slow install process, which is not that slow. It actually varies depending on your internet speed and your computer performance. It's actually not so much. The downloading doesn't really matter on the performance of your computer. That's just your internet speed, but uh, installation, all that can vary wildly so we're just gonna let it do its thing there we go we're all logged in now you'll notice on the bottom of the Technic uh, thing I am logged in as, as Cub Games that is your Minecraft username don't be uncomfortable about putting in your username and password you can trust these guys no one's ever had an issue with it uh, just wanted to go ahead and say that now because when you first install the pack it's gonna ask you to sign into Minecraft because it has to download the Minecraft files and in order to do that it has to have your username so this isn't any sketch thing don't worry about that it's fine next up we're gonna hit play and a couple of things might happen let's see yeah, there it goes. So this mod pack has special requirements which must be met before you can run it. So you have to be using at least one and a half gigs of RAM and the mod pack requires Java 1.8, which I don't have. So how do we fix these things? Well, um, I guess we'll start with RAM. Hit cancel, go up here to launcher options and click that little toggle or that little tog thing. Go over to your Java settings and here it has the options to select memory. So this will vary depending on how much memory you have in your system, but I think it maxes out at 16. Now my gaming computer has 16 gigs of RAM, so I set it up to 8. You won't need that much. That's just what I did. This has 20, 
No, this has 32 gigs of RAM, so we might as well go ahead and do 16, just keep it at half. Is that necessary? No way. It's never going to use that much RAM, but you definitely do need quite a bit of RAM to get the game going because there's a lot of mods and things going on. Also, once we install SFAX, you're really going to want that extra RAM. Is 16 gigs too much? Probably. Is 8 too much? Probably. But if you have it, spare it. One important thing to remember is if you only have, let's say, 4 gigs of RAM, don't select all 4 gigs. Uh, 2 is probably going to be your best bet. You could maybe even go up to 3. But don't ever select the same amount of RAM as your computer has because that RAM needs to be used for other things like running your operating system. So once we've got that selected, we can close and we can hit play. But it's not going to work because, again, we have to download the latest version of Java. So error message. Boom! And it says, look at that, you definitely have enough RAM. Now we have to update Java. So we need to get Java 1.8. Let's go do that. And I was not prepared for this. I thought I had already had Java installed, but let's go on this adventure together. Gather Java 1.8. All right, now, just to prove to you how easy this is, I didn't even realize I had to install Java 1.8. I thought I already had it installed. Apparently not. We're going to go walk through the whole process, though. So I just Googled Java 1.8. Yes, people, you can Google things. I'll put a link in the description, but it's not that hard. Very second option comes up, oracle.com, Java SE Runtime Environment 8. We're going to click on that. We're going to hop over to Mac OS 64-bit, and we've got the option to download a DMG or tar. Let's just, uh, oh, we have to accept the licensing agreement. All right, yes, I totally accept and agree to the license agreement, and all of you folks just watched me accept it. It's going to download over here, and I guess I'm going to go ahead and get this installed. All right, folks, Java installed in a breeze, no problems at all. And um, it looks like the game has taken it and it is loading up, so we've got to wait for it to go through this. Now this process takes a little while because it has to load Forge and all of the mods associated with the game, get them all initiated before we can actually start playing it. So we're just going to be patient and wait for that to finish. And it's actually flying through it pretty fast. Alright, well it finally finished. It took about a minute and the game is all loaded up. First things first, let's go full screen and look at it in all its glory there we go so we've got a few things that we can do here we can go to our options and fiddle with stuff some things that i like to do that you definitely don't have to do is i like to set brightness all the way up because i like a nice bright viewing experience for my viewers i always set max frame rate to unlimited and uh, you don't need to do any or all of these things at all i'm only doing them because it's what i usually do and that's pretty much it. So there you go. You've got the game. It's installed to get started. You can either hit on single player or you can go to multiplayer, log into the server, although the server doesn't appear to be there right now. Official server? Oh, well. Wow. Look at that. They got a US and a EU. Cool. So that's how you do that if you are interested. Now, I guess the next big thing would be to install Sfax. So to do that, we've got a couple of options. First off, we have to download the uh, necessary files. So your options are go to the official Tech at Classic Reborn website, which I didn't even know existed until today. In fact, right there, top of the uh, profile posts is me stating that I didn't know that it existed. But it's here. You can sign up. You better believe I signed up for an account. Uh, that's tcreborn.co. Link in the description. Click on Resources. Once you're there, on the main page, click on Resources. And you have your options to download your packs or uh, Sfax texture patches. Let's go with 64. So click there, click on download, and that's going to take you to an AdFly link. Please don't complain about that. It's not mine, it's theirs. But these people put a lot of work into getting all of this stuff together. They're making very little off that link. Don't Just don't complain about it, okay? Um, they, they deserve it. Oh, look at this. So right in the middle of this tutorial, on the amazing TC Reborn, which I spelled out T-C-R-E Born last time. I don't know why. But right here on the Tech of Classic Reborn, website he's replied to me letting me know that it doesn't matter how i pronounce his name so you're tanseo from now on congratulations check that out so let's get back to the tutorial click on your resources go to your tcr64 download that now this is only going to give you the textures for the modded items to get the vanilla items textured you need to go to bdcraft.net click on downloads and again links in the description now you have a few options you can do vanilla bdcraft grunge bd craft or the pure bd craft and the pure is the original it's the one you're going to see in my videos it's the one most people are used to click on it scroll on down here till you find the size that you want remember we're using 64 and select minecraft 1.7.10 that's the version that tech classic reborn is running in that'll again take you to another ad fly link which these people again definitely deserve it is a fabulous pack once your files are downloaded you have a couple of options to install them whether you're on mac or pc the easiest thing you can do is go to options resource pack open resource pack folder and that's going to at least on PC open up a folder and you can just drag from your downloads into the resource pack folder it doesn't appear to be working here whoa 
there it goes. Maybe it's because I was in full screen. So there's that. And uh, just click it. It opens it up. All you gotta do is take these tooth packs here and drag them over. Do not unzip them. And don't worry about merging them. You don't have to merge them anymore. This isn't 2014. We don't have to merge mod pack folders. The alternative is to go into your system and find this folder manually. And if you're on Mac at least, the way you do that is you hit go. And then you hold down the alt option key. And right here between home and computer, as you hold down the alt option key, you'll see library pop up. So click on that. Go to application support. Scroll on down to technic, mod packs, TCR, classic reborn, resource packs. And that's just going to take you to the same area as down here. Again, this is the manual way of doing it if you want to. Alternatively, just go in here pound on that open resource pack button until it opens that folder up and then drag these two items over boom done it's installed hop on back here close this just hit okay it might take a second to like register you've hit okay click resource packs there they are we're going to apply both of them this is the magic of the new minecraft resource system you can apply them both and let's say we apply the minecraft one it's going to look at minecraft and say okay you've added textures for this but there's all these other items that don't have textures. Well, then you can come in and add another pack that have those textures. You put it above this one so you can move these around. It doesn't matter in this instance which one goes where because um, they don't overlap one another. But if they did, you could select priority. It's all really cool. We're not going to go into it. We're just going to add both the official facts and the modded facts items. Hit done. And then the waiting game begins. Now, this can last anywhere. Wow. That was faster than on my PC. There you go, max everyone. Usually it takes about a minute and a half. Well, I do use the higher resolution version on my PC as well, so that's probably why. Let's log into the game and see if it's working. We'll go in creative. Also, you can go down here to more world options and uh, select amplified biomes, which I think are cool looking. You don't have to though, there's no reason to. Create the new world and let's see how it runs on my Mac because I've, I've never done it on the Mac. I get a lot of comments from people saying, oh my gosh, it doesn't work on Mac. And my recommendation is always contact the map creator or the mod pack creator, which you can do on the new official website, link in the description, uh, tcreborn.co. And uh, you can talk to them there and, and get some answers. Uh, alternatively, I'll say uh, update Java because that usually seems to be the problem. So here we are. We're loaded in. It's really dark, but that's just because I have my screen brightness turned down. So I've turned it up now. And wow, there you go. It, it runs decently. Uh, it's not great. But then again, you saw I had all my settings cranked up as well because I'm used to playing on my baller PC. Uh, but there you go, folks. That's that's it. That pretty much covers all of the things that I wanted to talk about. Some of the sort of advanced things that people ask, you know, oh, how do I do X, Y or Z? Well, now you know how to do X, Y or Z. If you have any other questions, comment down below. Maybe I'll do a follow up video. But that is how you install the pack and you get facts working. And uh, until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. I don't know why I ended it like that. I don't I don't know. Let's go play.